guys. It's Heather here with Creepy Holiday Stuff. And my beautiful friend, my best <laughs> friend in the world, Norma. She's joining me. Hi. <laughs> She's going to be helping. Okay. Um, sorry, heads are cut off. All right. Um, what I'm making tonight is... Um, it's a wreath that I'm going to be doing for a raffle. Um, I have a big craft show coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, Sam Juan Batista be there. Some of the craft shows, they let you raffles. And this one, luckily, they said yes, I could do a raffle. So I decided I was going to make um, a unicorn wreath. Sorry, I left my unicorn head over here. You're so beautiful. But I wanted to make it kind of a fancy one, you know? So, kind of customized my unicorn. I'm going to do black and silver. Um, sorry, the mess. I mean, no, don't put that light on my eyes. Keep it back the way it was. There, okay, that's fine. So, anyway, I'm using this one. I'm going to use some silver and. I am doing 30 inch ruffles um, and I'm using 12 inch mesh so because I wanted it to be kind of um, fluffy so um, let me just Roberta hi love that's my niece did you get to see um, destiny and the babies did you see their wreaths I had posted them um, Okay, it's okay. It's all right. Anyway, so I'm using just a simple 14 inch frame, a Dollar Tree frame, and um, the 12 inch mesh. And I have 18 pipe cleaners on here, uh, on the bottom, and eight on top. Okay, so let me get started. I have a I already got this much done, but I have four ties left, just so I can show you what I, I'm doing. So, okay, let me just take a breather. <laughs> I think you got too much light. You look pale. It's okay. It'll work. Can you just try this? The... Let's just try it. There's a delay on there, so I don't know. <clears throat> oh, can you get my hand? <laughs> the head fell. Sure. <laughs> okay. So I just have four left, so I'm going to get those in there. Does that look better, Norm? Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, the lighting yeah. is a little darker. And I'm just going to crinkle right down the middle. No, don't make it that I'm gonna dark. I'm going to check. I don't want it that dark. Well, you look like a ghost. Oh, you just got mad right now. My husband is pulling with the lighting, so. That looks better, huh, Norma? It hasn't done it yet, I don't think. Yeah, it has. Looks okay right now. Right there. <laughs> oh. See? <laughs> okay. No more turning off, though, because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Well, I don't want you to look like Casper. <sighs> yeah, but if I, I look like Casper, it hides my wrinkles. You're beautiful with your wrinkles. Okay, so. The 12 inch, it's a little bit of a task getting these ruffles in here because they're big and they they stick and um, the other ones kind of attach and want to fold in, so. That's why I only left a couple so you didn't have to sit there while I was doing this. But I like the 12 inch, uh, doing the ruffles all the way around, it makes it nice and full. I like the black, it has a shine to it. It does, doesn't yeah. it? And it's a little um, sparkle. It doesn't even, oh my glasses. There's some that have the metallic strips and mm. then it even looks nicer. But yeah, there's a nice shine on this. <coughs> shimmer. 
So do I just click on this and it'll show if anybody else or scroll? Or? Um, yeah, you, you can click, on. but it's there's. Uh, you'll see if there's mm -hmm. anything on there, and then you can. Okay. Then you'd be able to scroll. And it's a touch screen too. Mm -hmm. So when you guys pop in, say hi, let me know where you're from. And it would be perfect time to share. And if you can't stick around and watch the video, um, share it to your page and you can uh, easily find it to watch it later. Join too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining, Norma. <laughs> welcome. You, um, if you don't mind. I was going to do this because of my leg. Uh -huh. If you can grab me that and slide it down here, could you do that? And I'm going to, I got to put my foot on it. Which one? The brown or the? I'm either one, the white one or the one next to it. I'm just going to use it as a stool. Try to help my... Oh, I have another one here I didn't even see. I thought I only had four, but... What, laying down? Like that. Like this? Just standing? Actually, you could throw it if it's easier this way. Sorry, everybody. I'm going to put my, my knee up, my leg up, because I have a bad knee. So once I start decorating, um, I will put I will put it on the easel so you can see it better. I have to cut two more. So hopefully this will turn out nice. I have this image in my head of how I wanted it to look. We'll see. Also, I won't be going live Saturday because I will be at the crop show, but um, I actually, I might do, you know, a little live while I'm there, saying hi to everybody. I might do that. I'll be taking 32 plus wreaths to this craft show. Hopefully I'll do well, um, but whatever I have left, I'm going to post on my Facebook shop, or I'll just go ahead and put it all on the Etsy account that I opened. Um, I was iffy on posting all of these wreaths, knowing that I had this big craft show. Um, so I know there's ways they're saying, oh, well, you can still, you know, just go ahead and put them all on Etsy. And if you go to the craft show and they sell, just have people you know, order it through there. But I'm not that familiar with Etsy, so I didn't want to do that. I was like, eh, I'd hate to have them in Etsy and then sell them at the craft show and not, you know, not be able to get them off the Etsy account on time. Just, I just figured I'd wait. They get all tucked in here. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. That's why I try to get this part mostly done before I go on.
Maggie, how are you doing? Hi, thank you for joining. Make sure you share, Maggie, so that your friends can join in. I'm making a wreath that I'm going to be using as a raffle, a raffle wreath <laughs> for the craft show. Maggie is, um, Magda, she's a co-worker. Oh, okay. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, this is my best friend, Norma. She's joining me tonight. Hi. Um, Maggie bought a, um, a little mermaid wreath oh, for her daughter. Nice. Yeah, she was watching when I was doing the live quite a while back. Mm -hmm. She was watching it and uh, first thing she said was, how much? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for the, the faces, the emojis. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. So if you're just joining, I will show you the unicorn head. I'm kind of customizing my heads a bit so that they're not all the same. Um, hold on, I got a fray. So this is the unicorn that I'll be using tonight. The black on there gives it a nice different look. It does. Nice. Yeah. It does. And it, it makes the eyes stand out more than when you look at the pink ones I have. Yeah, it does. I also made, um, let me show you guys. My imagination was going a little crazy, so mm -hmm. I made this one recently, <clears throat> gave it the green. Um, when I look at it, it makes me, I don't know, I was telling my daughter-in-law, it makes me think of, like, if a unicorn could live in the ocean, this would be, like, the king of the ocean no. unicorn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's this one. Nice, anyway. Nice green. Yeah, it's so, the almost emerald looking mm -hmm. um, but this one I wanted to do a little special so it's in black so um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the head in actually before I start I was gonna use some just a couple of these I think I have five it's of the silver silver gray um, and it has the metallic shimmer so it's like a silver and this is 10 inch mesh and this is cut 20 inches and I was just gonna do a ruffle and only a couple of them five of them so just to accent you know so to get my unicorn head ready what I do is um, remember this is there this is tool. Um, I glue these glue these down so that they're out of the way so I'm gonna do that really quick I just right onto the material and um, I also reinforce oh I always get burned <laughs> always reinforce where that is attached. Give that a second. And I use floral wire to attach. So you just put that wire through the loop? I put the wire through the loop for the top one, but for the bottom ones, I actually pinch the material. Oh. And actually, when I use the 14-inch frame, just putting the wire on the top and the bottom seemed to be sufficient in securing it. But <clears throat> if you want it um, more secure, I would put them on both sides, <clears throat> which 
I might do when I use the the tiered frames that already have the pipe cleaners in them. Um, I tried just attaching the top and the bottom, and there was too much play because the those frames are too much. You know, even even though it's an inch, it's just too much bigger. So those have to be attached on all four sides. I should put my, where's my glasses? Right here. Oh. Sometimes this goes really easy and then sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes does it bend when trying to get it through? Yeah. More times than not, it's easy. Once you get it right, get it through that first time, then you just, I push on the other end so it helps break the material for it to come through. Oh. I usually try to do this ahead of time, but Norma was here with me helping me prepare um, also for the craft show, so I got a lot going on, so. So if you're local, please come and join at the... What is the craft fair called, Hannah, huh, this weekend? The San Juan Batista Arts and Craft Festival. What time does it start? That starts at 10 o'clock, Saturday and Sunday. And it's supposed to be nice weather. Yes, that's what I heard. So come by and say hi. <laughs> yes, definitely. If you're local, come by <clears throat> and say hi. That would be awesome. I would love to meet some of you. So I just like to hot glue that for extra support also. <coughs> Give it a second to dry. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, well, I'll do that later. I'm going to probably put, to reinforce it, I'm going to put them on each side, but I'll do that after so you don't have to sit through all that. Give that a second to dry. And if you just popped in, please say hi. Let me know where you're from. Okay. So. I thought I had five. Come on here, like on my phone. If Roberta asks, which day will you be at the craft fair show? And it didn't show on here. Oh, really? Yeah. I see it on my phone. I don't That's weird. Let's see it anywhere on here. Um, can you type in there? Say, refer to your, your, or type it in that and see if that helps. In here? Yeah, on the little comment. Say, Roberta, your comments aren't showing up. Can you try commenting again? Okay. That, that sucks because <clears throat> what if people have commented before and I didn't even know? Just click like in in the snow out of the screen. Just anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So no, it's not here. Mm -hmm. Exit. Oh. Hold on one second. I don't know what it's doing. Um hmm. I don't know how to get rid of this. Hidden. There we go. Sorry, technical difficulties over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Roberta, Heather was saying that the craft show is Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Oh, see, she's just not even showing up there now. Yeah. But can you type in here, Norma, and just say, let her know that? And then, so if anybody else made comments. <clears throat> If I don't respond, or if Norma doesn't respond to your comments, that means it didn't show up on the screen because somebody's didn't show up, yet it did show up on the phone. So I don't know what's going on. That's mm -hmm. weird. Okay, so this is dry now. So now it's going to go in the wreath. And I also put backings on all of my wreaths, and I have um, a black one. 
it's a black, um, what do you call this? Placemat. The placemat. <coughs> so it's going to look really good, you know, nice blended color. So I just slowly pop his head on in there. Usually I say her, but with this black, it makes me think with a black fuzz there of a boy. But not for long, because I have a, some flowers that are going to go there. Okay. So, I got some braids on here. Oh, I hope she didn't leave thinking because I didn't respond. Hmm. <coughs> okay. So, when I attach them, I like to attach where there's a cross bar. Right here and right here. It's better supported. As long as you got the crossbar on the top and the bottom, uh, you don't have to worry as much about it on the side. So, I'm just going to attach this really, really good. And I'm attaching it, let me show you first. I'm attaching it up on this top one right here. So it holds the head up better. And this only applies to the 14 inch frames. The 15 inch frames are attached differently. Well, different area. You want to do the crossbars with those too. So on this one, I'm not going to put ribbons in the ties. I'm going to do a, a bow. Also, hot glue where I attach it just for extra support. <laughs> Sticks to me. Okay, and then on the bottom, I'm going to attach in the inner ring right at the crossbar. So I've had. Um, there's been quite a few people that have messaged me wanting to know if I would do a tutorial on how I make my worms. Norma, can you show them that worm? You want the pink one? Yeah, you can, you can show them both. You can show them the pink one first. So um, pretty. Here's one of them. Here's the worm. I don't know if the way they can see it. Yeah, there's a little delay, so hopefully I'll show it. This one is would be so cute. And look at I even put a little fuzzy towel on it. Hmm. This one would be cute for baby nursery or um It's adorable because you could go either or. Yes, you know, either or. Are beautiful. Or if you have twins, ba twin baby girl and boy. There you go. So anyway, I've been asked. Oh, and then I have um this is like a ladybug worm. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cute. Yeah, has I love eyes. that one. I love the colors on there, the black and red. And I also have um, the you know the typical bookworm, the green with the glasses. I made some of those. That's those turned out super cute. So anyway, I've been asked you know if I would do a tutorial on how I'm making these, and I said I would. And I was gonna try to do it tonight after the unicorn, but because of my craft show, I, I don't have time. So, um, I go, as you know, if you follow me, I go live every Thursday at, um, hi Ron, 7.15. Hi Ron, <laughs> my husband. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I go live every Thursday at 7.15. So next Thursday, I am going to be doing, um, a worm. And I was thinking about doing a rainbow one. I have, um, which one? 
the, oh, the rainbow mm -hmm. stuff. I have some rainbow mesh. Excuse me. That um, I'm going to be doing some unicorns with. But I thought, oh, how cute to do a rainbow worm. You know, <laughs> so we'll see. But for sure, I'm going to do the worm tutorial um, next Thursday at 7.15. So if you're interested, um, definitely tune in. Thank you, Norma. It's nice. I like those colors on it. I know. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Right? You find the nicest. <laughs> so, let me show you what we have so far. <clears throat> this is what we have so far. Well, How about a glow worm? I have made a glow worm. <laughs> I have a glow worm that has um, lights in it. Okay, so. I've never seen that one. Oh, you haven't? Yeah. I'll have to show you. Nice. It's in my room. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take that to the craft show, too. Did I cut five of these? Do you see one anywhere? I had five. Uh, maybe it fell on the other side or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't know. When decorating, it's always odd number, so now I got an even number. <laughs> <coughs> so, anyway, this is 10 inch silver mesh, the metallic, and I cut it 20 inches. And I'm just going to put them uh, in a couple of areas. I'm going to ruffle it right up. I didn't want to put in every other tie or in every tie because I only want the silver to just be a slight accent. I want the the black to really Bonds asked me, up. does it really glow? He <laughs> says, can you show us? <laughs> if you bring it here, Ron, yes. <laughs> Ron, if you look straight ahead from the bed on the wall and I have it in a bag it's, that's the glow worm. But he, I probably have to fluff up his ribbons because it's been hanging. Anyway, that one I have lights in it. I have it on my page. So I love doing raffles at the craft fair craft show, craft fair. I don't know what exactly you call it. <laughs> um, I think it says craft uh, craft fair when they um, advertise it, don't they? Doesn't I it? think so. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I on uh, I did flare on the farm here in Salinas uh, a while back and I I did a huge peacock wreath and I raffled that off. That one's beautiful. And you have another peacock that I saw hanging there. Yes. Oh, I love it. Aren't those cups? Yeah, I call colors. that I call that my gypsy peacock. <laughs> yes, I love it. The style of it, the colors. They have similar colors to the grapevine wreath uh -huh. that you were uh, that you liked. Yeah. Ron says you should make a scary unicorn wreath. <laughs> A scary unicorn wreath. Do you have any ideas on how I would make it scary? Creepy? <laughs> Give me some of your thoughts. Oh, um, he's right there. Uh, Norma, you gotta fix the bows though before we show it to anybody. Did you, did you make it scary? Did you remember my last one? Football. <laughs> yeah, a creepy a creepy unicorn. Scary. You know, like they have a, a dead horse. Oh gosh. I'll think about that maybe for <laughs> Halloween time. I'm just cleaning up some of these frays. Since you need, yeah, because see, I usually fluff them like this. Okay. Um, so look at how pretty that silver. Look, Norma. Oh, that is pretty. Isn't that like pretty? That. Look at that. Nice. Ah, oh, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. Guys, don't forget to share if you didn't share. Um, like I said, just kind of sporadic. I thought I cut five, but I have four. So, I'm going to go ahead and use them. I 
I always wear sweaters when I'm doing this and it always gets stuck. <laughs> and then I have my fairy wreaths. I'm going to take those to the craft show and one of them lights up. That one's really pretty and that's made on a grapevine. Okay. Is it up left and ready? There's a switch on the back, a little white one. Norm is going to show you the glowworm. Oh. He's super cute. He's been hanging, so he might need a little adjusting, you know, but he's really cute. And he looks so cute in the uh, nighttime in the children's room. Oh, there's a little oh, there black switch. Ooh, nice. There you go. Can, Can you see, see that? And he has little legs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can little, see. The little black ones? Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Isn't he cute? Mm. There you go. There they can go. see him. Yeah. That's cute. The bookworm I made, he was bigger. And he had the glasses and everything. And my daughter, she's like, oh my God, I gotta that she has a little area in her house like a little nook area that's a reading area that has books and stuff and um, it just looks absolutely gorgeous there I love it I should make some I got to talk to her for her school she works at the school she's a like, a, like para, para, what do you call it a paraprofessional she works with children, so um, that might be a good idea to make some for her school. Okay. This uh, silver has got a lot of frays in it. I thought it was good, good mesh. And of course, like I do with all of my, I don't like the way that's ruffling. Oh, well, at least it's on the top. Like with all my other unicorns, I'm going to put pearls on it. I love pearls on them. Oh, I love this black. I know, it's really, really nice. Yes. And with the silver, it just like, ooh. What do you guys think about this? I'd love to hear some opinions. i got to balance out my... Right, okay. So there's a big one right here. Do you guys like it so far? And if you're watching the replay, um, let me know. Leave comments. I always go back and and check comments. Yeah, I'll put one right here because I, I'm going to put the bow right here. So I don't want it to... I think I might keep it you at have three. A Michelle or tape. Oh, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, that Michelle is Janelle's too. sister. Oh, oh, nice. How are the babies, Michelle? You are one busy mama. Just got her four boys. Ooh. Are they all small or are they all different oh, ages? They're all close in age. Oh, nice. They're so cute. I haven't got to see the brand new babe though in person. Mm -hmm. I painted her some cute because her her um, theme mm -hmm. is little baby elephants. Oh, okay. So I told Janelle, I said, send me a picture of what her, you know, the baby shower stuff. Uh -huh. I made her canisters. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, it turned out cute. Okay, wait, I said, that's going to go there, so I'm going to put this right here. It's hardest because sometimes, like, I'll talk to somebody, and you know how when you're on the phone and sometimes your volume's down, and you're on there, but yeah. they can't hear you. So it's like, okay, she must have her volume down. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully, Ron's not in the room. Ron and inviting all kinds of people. He did that last time. Oh, did he? <laughs> he started inviting. I like if they wanted to come on, they would come on. <laughs> And then you make them feel weird by inviting them. It's like, oh, God, do I got to go on there now? <laughs> well, sometimes people are, 
you know, you're busy or they don't have their phone, you know, they're cooking dinner or whatever yeah. it may be. Like last time I missed you, I don't know, by like 30 minutes, so I'm like, oh, I forgot Heather was like, <laughs> I got busy, I got, you know. That's why it's like, I want to, I want to try to keep always keep the schedule the same around the same yeah, time yeah so that people aren't you know oh are you going to go on or when? yeah so then they know oh thursday she will be on so if they want to then they'll know yeah but i know i have to build up a you know it'll be a while before people yeah get used to me oh every thursday and then word of mouth too you yeah know, and sharing and and then after the craft show too hopefully i'll oh, yeah gain some other people that will be interested i think i'm going to keep it at three. Oh, that's nice. I don't know about this one back here if I should. I can always move it after. All right. Um, I'm going to make a bow, but I'm not going to make that right now. I'm ready for some tubes. <laughs> These ones? Yes. And I'm not sure. I may not put that many because I don't want to drown out too much of this black because I really like the black. Yeah. I was going to put it, I'll probably put it on the easel when I start doing the pearls because that makes it harder for me to see um, everything. Okay. So I don't I'm, know if it's right. <laughs> I'm using um, some tubing and the tubing is black and it has um, silver metallic in there so I'm thinking I don't know if I should put it I think I should put it where the silver is I don't know let me look let me try it in here first I was like that's your phone Steve is coming I heard it See what it looks like on the black too, because I don't. Know. I can sorry, that's okay. Just doing a figure eight. These are measured out um, twenty-one inches. Twenty-one inches to get the size of a figure eight. I wasn't sure how many of these I was going to use and if I was going to use them in the silvers or the blacks. So. Yeah, I think. Hmm. I don't know if I want them in the silver. I think I'm going to put them in the black. With these such big ruffles, it's hard to see where there is, where the pipe cleaners are. Because they're black too? Yeah. I was thinking about adding some pink accent, but I'm not sure now because I really like me she wanted to see the live mm -hmm. hopefully she could find it she said um, I sent her a link because I don't have my alert set up I still can't figure it out totally but she'll get to watch the replay if she doesn't see it so I'm putting these uh, the tubing in every other tie that does not have the silver. 
ruffle. I don't like the way it looks that way. And again, I'm not going to be putting um, ribbons in here. I'm going to be using a bow. Usually I have my bow already made, but I'm going to make it tonight because I didn't get a chance to make it. With Ron turning the lighting down, it's kind it's of hard to see. It, kind of affecting me. Do you want me to turn that other one on? Maybe one, yeah. Because my eyes are bad as it is, but now that it's so dim in here, I want to buy those umbrella lighting. That's for making this the one? video. Yeah, let's try that one. How's that? Is that better for you? That's a little better, yeah. Thank you. You want me to turn the other one on or no? Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Okay, so this one, yes. This one, no. This one, yes. Oh, I drink too much soda. I keep burping. <laughs> we had, right before this came on, my son bought pizza. So we had pizza and I drinking soda and wow that gets to me. It was so good though. Okay. I'm really loving the black and silver. Really loving it. Hey tell Steven to come on to creepy holiday stuff and we can chat with him together on the <laughs> like yeah right. Bobby came on one time, no. but he didn't have uh, his sound on because when I talked, he never responded, but it showed he was there. Mm -hmm. Norma was sweet, and she pre-cut these for me. I think I did them the right size. <laughs> They're perfect. They are perfect. They are perfect. Um, but I think I need you to cut me some more. Oh, okay. if you don't mind, uh, not that one, this one. Maybe three more, um, so two more. That should be good. Okay, not there. So we'll go in this one. If I can find it. What happens? You got black mesh with black ties, <laughs> and it's all ruffled together, so I can't hardly see. There it is. Jeez. Yeah. sensations in my hands. Okay, I think I need just one more. Nope, actually that's it. This is what I have so far. That's what's going on so far. 
and I am not done. I have more stuff to do. The next thing I'm going to do is, normally on my unicorns I'll put a little tool uh, bow on the top of the head right here by the eye, but for this one I'm going to use these. I got these at Joanne, uh, Beverly's, and um, they're in the section of the wedding, the wedding uh, stuff. Um, Deb joined us. Bloomfield. Hi, Deb. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad you could pop in. So this is what I'm using. Again, it's in the wedding department where you can get all these little, just these little itty bitty sprays um, they use for the decorations for wedding stuff. And they're uh, really reasonably priced. So I thought they would look nice, something different instead of the tool, uh, instead of the tool thing that I put in my head. So let me see. Um, let me put it on the easel and I may have to move the camera for you because it'll be easier for me to decorate it from here when it's on here. I can see it better. This horn wants to keep going. need a pipe cleaner. Hold on. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. I hope he's okay. I hope everything's fine. I'm just going to attach this to um, this easel because it's going to want to slide. All right, let me see what you can see and then I'll adjust it, get a little closer for you. It's like turn two, there you go, that's more. Okay, let me, let me put the camera on it better. Oh, Deb's husband, she said it had three hernias, oh my gosh. Wow, three hernias. Well, we hope he's doing better. Wow. Deb, this is my friend Norma. She's my best friend, and she's she's been helping me because um, I'm trying to prepare also for my weekend craft show. So she's here helping me tonight. A little down because you cutting off. Okay. Mm, right there. Let me turn. Because this is going to be turned a little more. I wish there wasn't such a lag in that. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see now. Sorry, guys, for the delay. I just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. That should be okay, hopefully. Pull this out a little bit. How's it look? Looks good. Okay. Okay. Hi, Deb. Sorry to hear about your husband. Hope he's doing uh, better after the surgery. Three hernias. Ugh. My husband's friend had a hernia surgery not too long ago. Um, he was in a lot, a lot of pain. She's asking, uh, where'd you get the unicorn? The unicorn can be found... Um, Sears, Kmart, um, I wouldn't go to eBay or pretty high priced on eBay. Kmart is your best bet. I do customize the unicorn with the colors because the unicorns, ah, this does not want to cut. You want me to try? Yeah, you want to do this one? 
The unicorns um, come with the pea carrot. How far do you, where do you want to cut it? About an inch and a half, maybe right. like Right that. here under the tape? Yeah. So Deb, this one is going to be my raffle unicorn. I'm doing a raffle at my crop show. And I wanted to make a special one for it. This is it. Okay, it needs to be cut down more. Yeah, just don't. Okay. Those blasters. That's weird. I don't know if I should dull my scissors. Probably gonna have to do them. Separate. Oh wow! You could actually separate them and they snap off. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I just love the unicorns. I just I think they're so cute, and you could do so many different things with them. They can look so many different ways, and I have some. Uh, I'm going to do some rainbow ones tomorrow. I got some really bright rainbow mesh. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I like the way that looked. Well, it's a hot glue. This is where I usually get burned. Always gets burned. Just right above the eye on the side of the head. Deb says think, very cute. <laughs> I think I might put those in. Oh, I'll put them here. <laughs> I might mix them in there because. Oh, I like that. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it well. Yeah, I can see it on the, okay. on the computer. I wanted to uh, wanted to add some pink. My daughter was saying you need to put some pink in there because of the horn and the ears. But I was going to do it, but now I'm not sure because I really like this silver and black. Let me see. This one came with. Oh, never mind. It came off. I say it messed it up. Put a couple of silver mixed in there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it makes it stand out. Mm -hmm. So then you can see the the black doesn't just blend all in. Yeah. A little better. Maybe one more. We got a lot of hearts. Yay, I love hearts. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. If you guys if you can't stay for the whole thing, share it to your page. And you can find it later and go back and watch it. There we go. I like that. wants to kind of go that way. Okay, so, oh, I have to make my bow. I'm going to make a bow, but I'm also going to put this on. This is very time consuming, so um, after I get the bow on, I'll probably just like wrap it around and maybe glue a few. I don't know if you're going to want to sit through all that, <laughs> but it's worth it. Oh, I have some of these too, but I don't know if I want to do pink, you know? Let's take a quick look before I make the bow. 
Oh, thank you for sharing, um, Deb. I appreciate it. You know, this did light up and black, you know, but I don't know. They light up so they'd be like a pink? That'd be cute in the silver. The only thing is mm -hmm. keeping them like this is oh, too yeah. short, but yeah. um, I use these on my worm. Mm-hmm. Oh, they look super cute. I wonder if I should put them just in the silver so it's just an accent color. Let's just take a look. I don't know. I don't like it. It's cute. Let's just look and see. I'm thinking I probably should have moved this silver up on the top of the frame and not the bottom one because you can't really see. Mm -hmm. You can't really see the... You can't really see Yeah, you know. the only one you see, the little ball, the little pink ball is on the bottom one. Hmm. At least the way it's, it's um, yeah. aiming, you know, the camera's aiming it. I'm not sure about this one over here. It looks um, really big. Yeah. And the other ones look squashed more together. This one is, uh, I'm taking it out. I don't like it there. Sorry, I'm in front of the camera for a moment. <clears throat> and it kind of smushed my ruffle by having it in there. These are big ruffles. These are 13 inch um, sorry, 30 inch ruffles with 12 inch mesh, so they stand up pretty good. I wanted to have uh, all ruffles with some height on it. That extra two inches, I think, really helped. I have a lot of fraying happening. It's like the more you mess with it, the more it frays. Okay, so I'm going to move, I'm going to move this one. Okay, one there, one there. Maybe up front here. Let me see how it looks right here. I think it will be a little more balanced this way. I'm going to have to do some trimming on there because I fooled with it too much. Caused it to fray. And then, where's the ball? There it is. I can't tell. Um, okay. So I do have pearls going on, but I, like I said, I think I'm going to do my bow first because I'm going to put a bow right here. Um, I don't want a bunch of ribbons on it because I really want the black to uh, really show up good. You can't really see it well. I'm trying to make it to where you have a better view, a straight on view. Okay, let me work on my bow really quick. Yeah, that's better. That's better? Yeah. Like you said, there's a delay, so now you can see. Yeah. It. Okay. Mm. Gotta use that easy bow maker. I cannot use, uh, make a bow without it. Well, this will be interesting because I've never seen you make a bow, and I was wondering oh, what, what yeah. that was. I am. Um, I never knew, didn't know what it looked like. I always make my bows uh, ahead of time. Yeah. 
Took me off and messed up, so yeah. I have time to. <laughs> but this time I'm going to go ahead and just do it online. Well, it'll be nice because I'm sure a lot of people are interested in watching how yeah. you do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 8 inch tails. Um, and I'm going to do 6 inch loops on each side. And then... I'll do two six inch loops on each side, then another color two six inch, and then I'll start going down from there. And I think I'm going to add um, these little leftover silvers in the bow. I think that would be pretty. It will. Okay, so let me see what I have here. I have some leftover. I don't really like using this because it doesn't like to hold its shape as well. Oh, I like the polka dots. Yeah, I thought the no. polka dots would be cute. And then I have this Harlequin black and like white silver. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and start with a black, though. Oh, there's not much here, so let's see what I can get off this. I wonder if I should just use this one. I had leftovers I was trying to use. This one I'm worried. See how it kind of quickly. Yeah. I don't like that look. I see how you said it doesn't keep its shape. Mm -mm. Okay. So, excuse me. Oh wait, they can't see. Can you gently turn the? I'm sorry. I'm sitting here making a, getting ready to make a bow, and you can't see anything. Norma's gonna turn the camera to the bow or to the easy bow maker for you. Just this right here? You have to, yeah, because it might fall, so you kind of just have to slowly move it. And without touching the screen. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Oh, no. Sorry, we're, we're just trying to get the camera down How's on the... How's that? It has all the... Um, to the bow. Okay. See? Do you want it up a little? Or, um, or down? I'm just waiting for it to stop. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yes, thank you, Norma. You're welcome. So, now, you'll, now you can see what I'm doing here with the bow. So, I have an 8-inch tail. And I'm going to... Um, <coughs> This is one and a half inch. You know what? Sorry, I'm gonna start with the two and a half inch. I'm not so so off balance. Dovetail. Um, okay, eight inch tail. And I'm gonna do two six inch on each side if I have enough hopefully you just want to twist every time even if the color is the same on both sides I still twist makes the ribbon look better the bow look better on this side. Twist. Another loop on this side. Cut it eight inches. Eight inches. This is the same uh, same measurements of what I did with my. If you saw my orange grapevine, 
I did it this way. Ow. <laughs> My finger. Wow, but I think I had more bows. Um, okay, so now I'm going to use this silver. And eat it when it's. These aren't big rolls, so it's like I don't want to lose all that ribbon with a tape stuck on it. <clears throat> so if you're just joining me, um, say hi, let me know where you're from. I cut it the wrong way. <laughs> I'd love to know where you're from. Okay, I'm like, I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so... I ended on this side with a towel, so I'm going to come over here and do this side, 8 inches. And even though it's the same on both sides, I'm still going to twist it. And I'm going to do 6 inches again. Sometimes I do, after I do the two, I'll do just one of this second color and then go back to two. Just depends. I think they all look nice. There was some weird phrase on this ribbon. I've never run across that before. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah, it was. It was weird. Okay, so... Two six inches of the silver. So much easier when it's two and a half inch ribbon. <laughs> the thinner ones are harder to work with. Yeah, this kind is hard. There's another piece. Look at that. That's weird. Very strange. Okay, and then I will cut this at eight inches. Can go a little further because I can always adjust it after. Okay. It wants to curl up. I'm gonna go ahead and move these. want it to be like an X. That's how I like to start it out. I'll do an X. And yeah, then you can always rearrange them later. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's it's easier though if you kind of get it started now before you get everything on there and start tightening your wire. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> spend too much time on it. I just try to move them around and then once it's on the wreath then we can fix it a lot better. Okay, so now I'm going to do the polka dot and I'm going to go down to five inch loops. Oh, that's too, just, just imagine if you didn't have that little bow maker, how uh, hard it would be. Yeah, I have trouble um, I had explained to him before that making the bows by hand with my osteoarthritis on my thumbs, because you have to hold them tight uh -huh. while you're looping them by hand, and it just, I can't do it. This is good. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it without this easy bow maker. So, okay, so my tail's over here, so I'm going to put this one. Twist. And this one is going to be five inches. Normally I would do like one, but I'm going to do two. 
because I don't have a big variety of colors I'm putting in here, a ribbon. If I had a bigger variety of colors, then I'd only do one of this one and go to the next color. So, I'm getting a hot flash, <clears throat> sorry guys. <laughs> so when you make your bow, you start going to uh, smaller, smaller little bows, little loops. Uh huh. Um, what I do is the first, the first ribbon that goes on, I do two loops of six inches. And then the second one, I do the same size. Mm -hmm. And then I start going down. Oh, okay. To me, I've been, I've been happy with the way my bows look like that. Um, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of different ways to do it. So I'm going to five inches now. And I'm going to do two loops. I have to tighten these. You have to tighten them every so often and hit them. Mm -hmm. um, because they get loose and they don't hold your ribbon. And they're starting to do that right now. So is it like a twist or they're just... just, um, just no, just they're not in. a twist. Yeah, oh, you gotta hit them in. My Ron, my husband, he's the first time I did it, he was in here and it was like all nice and quiet. And I'm making a bow, and then all of a sudden I'm like, Greg was like, What are you doing? Oh my god, <laughs> he goes, You're gonna break. I'm like, No, you have to do that. <laughs> As soon as I'm done with the bow, we'll get back to the unicorn. Um, I know there's some people that have popped in and out, and you don't get to see the unicorn because uh, I'm on the bow. But I will zoom back out. Just want to try to get my tails. Spinning around on me. Okay, because um, I want to go smaller still, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, grab this one. Is this how many people are? Mm -hmm. So this was five inch loops. My last tail is over here on this side, so I'm gonna put it over here. This side and I'm gonna go down to four inch now. All right. I need to. They're super loose. I made the mistake of not doing that before. And I'm going to do two. And like I said, normally if I had more ribbon colors, I would be doing one and then one, two, and then one. I like the way that looks, but I don't have a lot of options here. Oh, that one is too much. There we go. I tell you, um, I know that... Some people are able to do it by just eyeballing, and uh, but I've done that before, and to me, if, if my ribbons aren't the same size, I notice it, and it doesn't look, mine just don't turn out. I gotta make sure that I'm measuring it right. Because all it takes is like one, one random loop that's you know bigger than the other ones and it just throws off the whole yeah board. to me it does so I'm not able to just eyeball I like to make sure I get it least close okay barely made it without ribbon <laughs> those are my leftovers okay so All right, so we did four. Let's see. And I 
think I'm going to go ahead and do a silver. Um, I think I'm going to do one loop of silver. The same silver you put on already? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I only have enough probably for one loop. <laughs> <laughs> well, not too much comes in there, huh? Not these ones. These ones are what, nine? That's four yards. Oh. I like the ten. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to make it with this one. We'll see. Mm, that's okay if my tail is not going to be long enough. I could hide that. I'm doing this at four inches also because my final uh, center loop will be three inches, <clears throat> approximately three inches. I looked up there, it says Don joined. Don, Oh, Where's hi, Don. Thank you for joining. I didn't even see. I don't know. I have the mouth over here. <laughs> Ron must not be on there anymore because he would have been talking away. <laughs> oh, he would have said, <laughs> Oh, the mouse is on somebody. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, the last loop I'm going to put on here is going to be um, a three inch center loop and I'm going to use the polka dot. Let me just take a, a gander here where my three is. There it is. It's about right there. This tail is on this side. Well, I always like to go this way, but. Okay, I'm just folding it in half. And I'm just getting, oh, I gotta turn this side so I get the polka dots. And pop it in there. There we go. Let me just trim these ends. I feel like the, all the ribbons wanting to pop up. <laughs> gotta, gotta get it all under control here. So I'll take my floral wire. And my ribbons always look yucky when I first take them off. <laughs> Thank you. Give it a nice tight pull. And then I just do this one more time while I while I have control of it because I do not have a fluff box. My husband said he he would make me one, but that was a long time ago. What's a did. fluff box? Um, it's a box. I, I think I think it comes with the ultimate bow maker, oh. and you could. It's just a box where you can attach your bow right on top. And, and it holds folds it. it there so you can fluff it up all pretty. Oh, okay. So I've discovered that this works okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fluff it up much better when it's on the wreath. Just, and then I have to trim all these sides too. I just want to get them going in the right direction or close to the right direction because once I make it tight then it's it might be too hard okay hopefully that's good enough okay so I'm gonna just get tight and 
Bring it up. One time I was using floral wire that was super thin. Had a beautiful fluffy bow. And as I was uh, spinning it around, the floral wire literally snapped. So now I don't trust it. And I always put a uh, zip tie, which I don't know where my zip ties are. Are those in right there? No? All those are there. But that's okay. I'll use the pipe cleaner because that'll work too. Okay, the bow doesn't look good right now. It looks kind of ugly right now, but I'm going to put this pipe cleaner on it for extra security because, like I said, I don't just don't trust it. That was horrible that last time that it happened to me. Now, does it all come the same uh, width that uh, the wire? Or do they no. have thicker ones? No. I bought the thicker one after. It was like, I don't I've, I've had 22 and 26. But yeah, it just snapped. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, when you spend a lot of time measuring out and making a really full big bow and that happens, it's like, no. <laughs> All of my work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, and I can't, I just can't focus good when I'm holding the bow either. I, it's easier for me when it's on the these ties are, are, these tails are too long, so I'm going to trim them. And you'll trim them after it's on the wreath? Yeah, I'm going to get it on the wreath so that uh, I know better where to trim it so that like it's too close to the um, eye or nose or mouth. Mm -hmm. Could you carefully move us back yes. up to, we're going to go back to the unicorn. Um, you just gotta watch because my phone will fall out. That's what happened with Ron. <laughs> it was flying I remember everywhere. that. Yeah. Well, that's just not um, good. So Norman's gonna zoom us back into the unicorn, and I'm gonna put on this bow. So I'm just gonna swig some water while she does that. Oh, How does that she... look, everybody? Does that look good? I wait for it to stop moving. That looks good to me. Does that look good to you guys? Or do you want to go closer? I think that's good. Yeah. You can see the whole thing. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now let's put on this. This is a sexy bow. That's nice. Is this a sexy <laughs> yeah. bow? It's a sexy <laughs> bow, guys. I think it's a sexy bow. I just, I kind of like that. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it just for a second so I can get a better idea of where I want to make sure it's balanced here. I think right in there. And I kind of want it to sit on top. I hope I, my wires are long enough. I don't want it to uh, get sunken in at all. So, I might have to attach it loosely. Ron was telling me, my husband, he was telling me that I should do uh, two wreaths for the raffle. But I don't know. He's like, some people might not be interested in a unicorn. So maybe you should, if you want, make the other kind of wreath that you use that looks like that wood, what do you call it? The grapevine? Yeah. Yeah. That's a... I have a few grapevines yeah. made, maybe I can just... It'll give them an option, you know? Okay, this, like I said, this is 12-inch um, mesh ruffles that are cut 30 inches, so they're not cooperating very well with me right now, because they're standing up pretty high. 
and it's making my bow. Let's see. I feel like it wants to sag too. I might have to do some hot gluing. I think I'm going to actually have to add, Norma, can you cut me another piece of mesh, the black, um, how you did last time for me? This stuff? That, mm -hmm. How many inches? Um, try to do 30. See, it's sinking in and you can't even really enjoy this bow, so I'm going to have to put um, an additional ruffle right where my hand is holding it. That's not going to work. I'm going to add an extra ruffle just to help lift up the bow. I probably should have thought of that because these do, this 12 inch mesh stands pretty high. Okay, thank you. I may have to add another one. I'll wait. Not yeah, <laughs> I might have to do one more. We'll see. Just crinkle it up really quick here. God, it'll be so nice when you get your room all set up. Yes. I'm moving into my craft room next week. I would be doing it this weekend if I didn't have the craft show. Mm -hmm. So that'll be nice. Norma's going to come help me. Yes, I will come help you. <laughs> Okay, let me get this in here. I'm gonna go right underneath here. I like it from where I'm now. I'm standing in front of it. It looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Let me just find a area here. What do you think about the pink? They're not glued on there. Do you think that the pink looks good? I like them. To accent his... To accent, yeah, the little... The horn. You know, they really match the same color as the horn. Okay. That lifted it up. See how it lifted it a little bit? Yeah. I still got to fluff it, but it lifted it. So you won't need no more? No. Okay. Okay. That helped... And I'll have to do some additional adjusting of this. I just don't want to sit here <coughs> um, super long for you guys. Just, you know. But what I'll do is I'm going to move on to the pearls that are going to go on it. And um, I won't hot glue everyone on while you're having to sit here. I'll do it afterwards, and then I'll always uh, post a picture when it's completely done. Tomorrow when there's more daylight, or if I can get enough lighting in here, I'll do it in here. But, again, this is my raffle wreath. This is the one I'm going to raffle off at the craft fair. I wanted to have something special and something that's kind of a stood out, you know, and to me the the black unicorn was, with the silver was pretty nice. I like it anyway. I might end up cutting those shorter. I don't know. 
have. This is just super loose. I don't want it to be sunken in too much. This is going to freak me out. I'll have to work on the bow more later. I know I keep saying that, but it's like, I notice a lot of people too are, are the same. They just can't stop. They have to keep fluffing and fix it. Until you know? you're satisfied. Yeah, it's, it's like, well, I don't want you to think it's going to look like that because it's not, you know, it's going to yeah. look nice. But then too, you know, when you take the picture after on the door, then you really see yeah. it. It's all just yeah. done and fluffed up. They look beautiful. All right, guys, I'm freaking out on the bow, so I'm going to move on. Move on to the beads. I'm going to move on <laughs> the to pearls. the pearls. But you get a good idea of what we're looking at here. Um, see, there I go again. I'm going to stop. <laughs> okay. So, the Easy Bow Maker works wonderful for my string uh, pearls. If you guys are interested in um, these, I use these on all of my unicorns. I love them. They look good on a lot of different wreaths. Um, and I'm, my affiliate links on a pinned post on the top of my page, um, you'll see these in there if you're interested. And they're awesome. Um, they look so pretty. They give an elegant look. And you can find a lot of the other stuff that I use. And if you guys click on it and buy from my affiliate link, I'll make a couple cents. Yay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start actually by just, I might add some tubing to later after. Because I, I did every other tie with this um, silver and black tubing. But I might come back and add a few of those. I don't know yet. So um, what I do is, I normally start on the bottom and I go around, but because I have it up here, I'm going to do it this way. And I just kind of swag it. I swag it on the wreath. And look at that. Isn't that nice how that works? Yeah. Multiple. Oh, you guys can't see. can't really see it. Let me show you. Sorry. You want me to hold it? I'll just show like that. <laughs> see that? I put my um, pearls on there, and it just, that's nice. So the Easy Bow Maker has multi-functions. So anyway, I just kind of swag it all around and I try to make sure and hot glue, if you can, every large bead. If you can secure every large bead, then, you know, they're not going to go anywhere. Now, you know, I would, uh. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but I really wouldn't recommend these wreaths being near a lot of heat, because you know how hot glue is. I know on the, um, the grapevines, I've had stuff on hot, you know, hot glued on it, and have been in a craft fair where that uh, grapevine got too much sun and it actually started melting the glue. So, these are strictly indoor wreaths, these unicorn wreaths, but you don't want them sitting over here where they're getting intense heat anyway. And if they're in a children's bedroom, I would not um, ever hang this over a children's crib or anywhere where it could possibly fall. These are big fluffy wreaths. And I don't want to have it fall in a baby's crib or that applies to any wreath you know, that you put in the children's room. So anyway, you see how that looks? Look at those pearls on here. It just, I love it. It livens up the wreath. It looks really pretty. Thank you. I, it looks like it's a trim. Oh, does it? Is that yeah. just nice. Yeah, from looking in on my... Um, Oh, wow, that. look at that. <laughs> so, I usually don't put any on the bow. 
I usually only go around one time, but I'm trying to make me an elegant, just really striking wreath. I had this wreath like going through my mind all day on how I wanted it to turn out, so. I wish you could see it in person because I tell you, on the computer and on your cell phones, you're not really seeing the true, you know, I think it's really, really, really pretty. And I don't think you're really seeing how pretty it is. Is that how, is that right, Norma? You're yeah. looking at it on your phone. Mm -hmm. You can't really see it. Look, it looks very, not very nice on my phone, but when you see it in person, it's like, wow. Yeah. Even more so steady. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Um, and I usually just hide it in there, glued. But like I said, I'm not going to make you sit through all this right now. And I want to be really precise on where I have it and gluing it. Um, and it's hard to do when it's facing the camera. So anyway, um, I think there it is. Let me get the, uh, no, you got a good view of it like that. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and take a picture probably tomorrow or t I don't think I'll have it done by tonight because this is a lot of, you know, gluing. It takes time, but I'll get a picture and I will post it. So you can uh, see it a lot better, more detailed, and these will be glued on, so it <laughs> will look better. And I'll refluff the bow and stuff. So um, thank you so much for joining. I'm really happy you joined. Thank you, Norma, for being You're here. You're so welcome. Helping. And everybody that's local, don't forget Heather's going to be at the San Juan Batista Craft Fair this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So if you live close by or if you come from afar, <laughs> the, stop by and see her. Come and uh, see her creepy holiday stuff. <laughs> that would be wonderful. I would love to meet some of you. Okay, so I think that's it. And also, when you see it again, I'm going to have some of these inside the bow. But I don't want to put them in there until I get that bow fixed. But this is my raffle wreath. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and you. And maybe I'll uh, go live just for a little bit uh, at the craft fair. We'll see how it goes. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. All right. Can you click the finish button? I really